Well, joining me now is the one and only Cedric Maxwell, Celtics radio analyst from 98.5 The Sports Up. Good to see you. You too, bud. You want to say it together? I'm <laughs> Rondo! Rondo. <laughs> yeah, All right. Bring on Cleveland. That's who the Celtics have next. Now, here's the good thing about this. Celtics are well-rested, but yes. how they match up against Cleveland? Yes. Uh, the matchup would be a good one. I think it's favorable to the Celtics. I think that they score the ball well. They have some guys who run up and down the floor. Uh, what I think they'll do, initiate the offense to Tatum or Brown. Mm -hmm. uh, the guy they have to worry about is Donovan. Uh, Mitchell. Mitchell. Is, Mitchell has been unreal. Uh, he's knocked down jump shots. He, he controls that initial point of attack. But what you have, you have Drew Holiday. Mm -hmm. And you have Derek White over there. So... If the Celtics are who they think they are and who we believe they are, I think they're favored in the series. Well, Drew Holiday is a defensive machine. Yes. Right? Yes. But Derek White, I, I, MVP of the playoffs so far for the Celtics. Absolutely. He has just elevated his game. What he has done for this basketball Brady-like. 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 Well, and that's saying something. I mean, he's... When you go Brady-like, that's saying something. Man, he's knocking down shots all over the place. He's initiating shots. He's defending the basketball. He's a smart player. I mean, he's a smart player. Uh, and Brad Stevens only had to give up two small first-round draft picks for him. That was an unbelievable deal. And that's why Brad Stevens is the executive of the year. He should be the executive of the year. Brad mm -hmm. Stevens has put together uh, this whole, you know, team. And it's been absolutely phenomenal but I got to bring up Porzingis now mm -hmm. because Porzingis is going to be out a while. Yeah. All right. How much are they going to miss him? And you see these other guys that Stevens brought in stepping up. Got, like exactly. Hauser, Cornette, these yeah. guys are stepping up. Yeah, those guys have to play. And I think if you look at them, what they have, what they have on the table right now, they can be consistent. They rebound the basketball. You have to be effective on both ends. Mm -hmm. But I talked to Porzingis for a minute coming out. And what he's told me, he was walking and didn't have a limp. He, he looked like he was walking well. And I said, the championship is going to run through that leg of yours. And he <laughs> you said, told him. You told yeah, him that? yeah, I told him that. I said, he said, yeah, I, I, I understand that this is a championship driven team. But you can't so, rush him back. No, no, you're not going to, you're not going to rush him back. I don't think you're going to rush him back, but can you win this series without him? And then what you have is about 14 days between when he got initially got hurt until now. And I think what you do, you're going to, you know, be easy with him coming back because mm -hmm. that's the commodity that you want in the future. But at the same time, you're looking at championship run. Those calf strains, though. You look at Giannis, he missed nine games. Mm -hmm. Everybody, everybody's different, though. Uh -huh. Everybody, everybody's calf is different. It doesn't mean like you're going to be like Giannis that you're going to be, you know, out for two or three days or week, two weeks. It could be one guy could have one week, another guy could have two weeks. But I think that right now he feels comfortable. Uh, that he wants to come back and he wants to be in the fold and play with these guys because, again, this is a guy who's going to be needed, I think, in the Eastern Conference Finals. Mm -hmm. Not in this series coming up, but in the Eastern Conference Finals. I think that's when they're going to need him and they'll need him if they're going to uh, win the championship. Are Tatum and Brown more mature? Have they learned from last year? And can they pick up their game going forward? Absolutely. I think they're both guys. I think that I look at Tatum as being more mature in the fact that the thing that he does really well now, he doesn't have to control the basketball all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah, the first couple of minutes of a game, what he does, he allows Brown, he lets other guys get involved. And then, like Jordan did back in the day, let those guys score, and then they can't double-team you late in the basketball right. game. So his maturity before, I think that in a, earlier in, the, in his, his, his career, he wouldn't get a shot for three or four times down, and the next one, I got to get it up. Now he doesn't feel like that. He doesn't feel like he holds that burden. Uh, the head coach, Missoula. Good job. Good job? Great job. Great job. Great you job. go from good to great that quick? Great job. Great job. I mean, and the reason I say it because... Well, he's I got think, the weapons. Well, he has the weapons. I think he has the understanding of his team. Mm -hmm. uh, I talked to Joe Missoula one day. Uh, he was just having to be in the arena, and he was walking around the arena. He, he does this ritual. He walks around. I was the only one day. He walks over to me and says, Max, so which banner was yours? I said, 81, 84. <laughs> he said, you were the finals MVP. He said, yeah. He said, and then he looked at me, Steve, and this was convincing. He said, I would do anything to bring another banner here. He said that He too. said, and, and literally, he like almost had tears. In I said, man, you can't cry in here. You can't cry. <laughs> But, you know, I, I believe in Joe. He feels Joe. it. He feels, he feels it. The other thing he said, he said, I have to get the pressure off of Tatum. Wow. You can't do that. But I told him you can't do that mm -hmm. because we have media and social media. Mm -hmm. That will never leave him. What they have to do is win a championship and get through that bubble this year. Here's what I like. They're sharing the basketball. Absolutely. And it's going through Derek White. 
but they're sharing the basketball. Moving the basketball around, getting other, other people involved. And they and, got a deep yeah. bench, Max. They and, got a deep bench. Well, they said they didn't have one, Steve. No, they, In the beginning they got of the year, one. Everybody said you didn't have one when you have Pritchard and Hauser and, and Cornette. Those guys really play well. So you have your opportunities to win with your bench. You can do a lot of things with these guys. All day. Did you tell Mizzou to look up? Which man? That number up there? That retired? one up there. Number up there, you know, 31 <laughs> all day. <laughs> You're the best, my friend. Excellent. Rondo, my boy.